With ever-increasing technological innovations and in usage demands, we need to focus more and more on the possibilities of their failure. TIDs are moving plasma disturbances in the ionosphere of the Earth, known as operational nuisances and silent accuracy killers that disrupt and deteriorate precision satellite navigation in autonomous rovers and geolocation in the over-the-horizon radars and other communication and navigation systems. Introducing TFERS, Traveling Ionospheric Disturbance Forecasting System, designed and developed with the support of the Horizon Europe program to generate space weather warnings and alerts. Although many events in the atmosphere can stimulate traveling ionospheric plasma disturbances, some of the most picturesque and in fact violent displays of the solar wind impact on the Earth atmosphere are the northern and southern lights. Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis are most visible indicators of the coronal mass ejections traveling to the Earth to brighten the sky in the auroral ovals of our planet. But they are also known to be the source of the strongest TIDs, of gigantic scales over a thousand kilometers in width, moving at high velocities of a few kilometers per second such large-scale plasma disturbances cross the European continent from Norway to Greece within half an hour and persist as long as the auroras continue to heat and brighten the lower atmosphere. If we think of our atmosphere as the water of the sea or a giant stadium and the people there representing the ionosphere, the charged particles of natural plasma in the atmosphere, then the brightening of aurora makes the giant waves in the atmosphere. Because of the Joule heating and Lorentz force, the ionosphere is there for the ride. Welcome to the world of TIDs. The ionosphere is the upper layer of the atmosphere located between Earth and space. The ionosphere is never quiet because it is affected by the solar activity and by dynamic events occurred in the lower atmosphere such as volcano eruptions tsunami, earthquakes, medicaines and tornadoes. We see all the time wave structures forming in the ionospheric plasma, propagating at various directions and amplitudes, disrupting seriously radio propagation conditions. These structures are the traveling ionospheric disturbances, which are precision killers for many operational systems such as radars, RTK systems and radio finding systems. The implications are very important and T-Force is working towards the very challenging topic of forecasting these ionospheric disturbances, applying machine learning and linear regression modeling over big data collections that include observations from the coupled Sun-Earth system. T-Force project will hopefully deliver for the first time a prototype system to support the applications concerned and this is done with the financial support from the Horizon Europe program. Ionosons are instruments designed to probe the ionosphere, which are very sensitive to and provide direct traveling ionospheric disturbance measurements. A dense network of ionosons is available in Europe. Research teams managing such instruments joining into European projects and develop methodologies and tailored products for real-time identification and tracking of the traveling ionospheric disturbance over Europe. The data and products generated by these methodologies, in addition to monitor TIDs, are useful to develop forecasting models of traveling ionospheric disturbance and to anticipate the operational nuisance that these perturbations can cause to radio communication technologies, as well as to validate this model prediction. TID prediction may rely on advanced mathematical models and empirical data analysis, trying to capture 
the complex nonlinear relationship between the ionospheric systems. And this is where artificial intelligence and machine learning can step in. By exploiting extensive data from ionosons, GNSS receivers, and other space weather instruments, machine learning algorithms can handle the high dimensional noisy nature of the data in an effective way. Training a machine learning model involves the use of historical data and corresponding TID occurrences, allowing the model learn to generalize and product TID patterns in new unseen data. Once trained and validated, the machine learning model can be deployed for TID prediction. Uh, this integration empowers us to anticipate and manage the impact of TIDs on our technologies in a more effective way, ensuring a resilient and interconnected future. Less dramatic but even more critical to detect and forecast are medium-scale traveling ionospheric disturbances, which are generated by a variety of other impulsive events, both man-made and natural, that causes the lower atmosphere to vibrate. These oscillations propagate to the higher altitude and oscillate the ionospheric plasma through neutral pol plasma pollution processes. Due to its variety of sources and high spatial localization makes it challenging to forecast the MSIDs. In this project, we will develop a climatology-based probabilistic statistical model and view forecasting for the extreme MSID event. One of such extreme event is generated by the recent Hungutunga eruption is shown in this movie. As with waves in more familiar substances, TIDs exist not only on different scales, but also of different natures. The two most common are the acoustic wave and the internal wave. Acoustic waves in the ionosphere, like those in the air, consist of alternating compressions and decompressions of the gas, increasing and decreasing the density. Internal waves are those similar to vibrations of a string with material moving up and down. Such waves also make then the plasma move up and down, but do not change the density. Depending on the source of the TIDs, TIDs of either type can be produced. During very impulsive disturbances of the ionosphere, some more exotic type of waves can also be seen. After the eruption of the Hunga volcano in Tonga in January 2022, the strongest wave seen was the Lamb wave, which traveled through the ionosphere around the world at least three times. Events such as this often produce a variety of different TIDs at the same time. This results in data that requires very careful interpretation, but it also allows us to compare the different velocities, ranges, wavelengths and so on of different types of TIDs. The German Federal Police is a participant of the European-founded T-Force project. We are not involved as full-time researchers, but as users with practical experience in the object of research. We have experts for different means of communication. Even if it is not often in the focus, radio communication, especially HF radio communication, has still a lot of interesting applications. Decades ago, HF radio communication started as a robust means of communication within our organization, especially its suitability for long-distance communication made it to a stable instrument of communication. This useful property is still important today, even with competitors like Internet, satellite communication and therefore used by different organizations. To have a wide selection of means of communication and to understand the technology, it is very important to keep the knowledge about the mode of operation in HF communications on the high level and to even improve our knowledge. Reliable predictions about the structure of the ionosphere and the possible disturbance are essential for a day-to-day -day task. We have a lot of practical experience in Operation HF antennas, direction findings and HF radios. In order to keep and improve our knowledge, a systematic cooperation with HF experts from Academica is really important for us. The participation as a user in the European-founded T-Force project gives us the opportunity to discuss HF-related questions. For example, discussing the influence of different categories of TIDs, for example MSTIDs and LSTIDs, on the quality of HF direction finding systems with inter uh, international recognized experts and even influence the direction of research in this project is a very great benefit of our project work.
This is a win-win situation for all the participants of the project. We learn about the new findings of ionospheric research influencing the capability of HF radio communication and our partner from Academica and Industrial Research learn about practical, relevant questions users experience in their daily business. This cooperation helps to address the object of research from different points of view and consequently increases the significance of the outcome on the T-Force research project.